Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in this video, I'm going to show you an example of the second Euler substitution. With that said, uh, the most important example is example zero, where we looked at Euler substitution's big picture and uh, came up with some important formulas that you need to use in each Euler substitution. So before watching any of the practical examples one through three, you should watch example zero first, yeah? Okay, cool, cool, cool. With that said, uh, let's work on this integral which involves the second Euler substitution. Now, what we said in example zero is that if this fella here, right, um, is such that the quadratic has two distinct roots, meaning uh, can be written as then we said the appropriate substitution is to let the square root quantity equal um, x minus alpha times t. And nothing special about x minus alpha, we could have used x minus beta instead, but yeah. That's what we said in example zero. See why example zero is important? Okay, okay. Now, um, if we focus on the all important quadratic inside our square root here, then we can write it as uh, negative, and then it's uh, going to be uh, x minus one times x plus two. Yeah, okay. Uh, and so the substitution according to this that we should make is uh, let, uh, let the square root of uh, negative uh, x minus 1 squared, sorry, not x minus 1 squared, but x minus 1 times x plus 2. Uh, so the substitution we should make is to let this guy, which is this guy, right, we should let him equal um, x plus 2 times t. Again, we can use x minus 1 times t instead, but um, yeah. Okay, okay. So what do we do next? Well, next, if we square both sides, we could get rid of this uh, square root on the left, and we're going to get a square here and a square there, right? And I can push this minus 1 to this part. Instead of minus um, x minus 1, I could write 1 minus x right here, right? Okay, so I could write 1 minus x right there. Yeah? Okay, cool. Now, uh, in my next step, I could... Uh, take off x plus 2 from both sides. So that means get rid of it from the left and just write this on the right, All right? Okay? And we can use this equation to solve both for x and t. In example 0, we solved for x in terms of t in each Euler substitution. So again, you should watch example 0. But here, I'll show you basically what we did there, uh, reinventing the wheel. Um, on how to get x, and it should be clear how we get to t. So what I'm saying is we're going to use this equation to solve for x and uh, to solve for t. So let's first solve for x. So to solve for x, on the left we have 1 minus x is equal to, and then on the right we have uh, x t squared and then plus uh, 2 t squared. If we collect x's, we're going to write 1 minus 2 t squared is equal to um, x t squared plus x and factor an x from the right side and divide by the other factor on the right side means that we write 1 minus 2 t squared divided by uh, t squared uh, plus 1 is equal to x. Yeah, okay, cool. Now, um, we are also going to use this equation to solve for t. So to do that, uh, let's divide both sides by um, x plus 2. Right? So that means that t squared is equal to this here. Okay? So from that, it follows that uh, t is equal to uh, the square root of uh, 1 minus x divided by uh, x plus 2. Right? Well, I should keep that on there. Yeah? Okay, okay, okay. So we have t and we have x. Okay. Uh, and now we are going to rewrite our integral uh, after we figure out what dx is. Okay, so um, the note on t, let's actually write what t is uh, somewhere up here. Uh, so t is equal to uh, root uh, 1 minus x divided by x plus 2 
and x is equal to 1 minus 2t squared divided by uh, t squared plus 1. Uh, and that's it. Okay, that's equal to x. All right. And that way, we don't have to worry about what we're erasing or what we're not erasing. Okay, so now uh, to rewrite our integral, we see that it has become, well, we need to figure out what dx is. Based on uh, the um, x here, right, dx has got to be the following. dx has got to be quotient rule, right? Like so, uh, minus 4t times t squared plus 1 minus 1 minus 2t squared times 2t uh, all over uh, t squared plus 1 squared uh, and then of course dt so dx is equal to if we distribute minus 4t cubed minus 4t uh, and then this is a minus 2t over here right so I could write it as minus 2t right there and it might be easier on the i or on the algebra. So uh, minus 2t uh, plus 4t cubed all over t squared plus 1 squared and then dt. All right? Okay, so minus 4t cubed and uh, minus uh, or plus 4t cubed, right? Minus 4t cubed and plus 4t cubed cancel. These guys are going to be minus 6t. All right, so minus 6t, like that. Uh, and so that's dx, cool. So um, for dx, over here we write minus 6t divided by um, t squared plus 1 uh, squared, and then uh, dt. That's dx, okay. dx is, however, divided by this fella here, right? And that fella is x plus 2 times t, right? Okay, uh, we said from the start that this guy is uh, x plus 2 times t in our uh, problem, right? Okay, okay. Now, we have x, right? So, um, what is x plus uh, 2 times t? And that's what we need to figure out, right? So, I suppose I do it in red. So x plus 2 has got to be 1 minus 2t squared over t squared plus 1, and then plus 2, right? Literally plus 2. That's x plus 2, right? But uh, this plus 2, right, we could write as uh, t squared plus 1 over t squared plus 1, right? So x plus 2 is really um, 1 minus 2t squared plus 2t squared plus 2 all over uh, t squared plus 1. And so the numerator simpl simplifies a lot. It's just 3, right? So that's good, 3. So x plus 2 times t, which is this fella, right, is going to look like this then. Right? Okay, so I could substitute for this here uh, with uh, divide by 3t, and divide by is that division sign, 3t over t squared uh, plus 1, right? But uh, dividing by this is the same thing as multiplying by triciprical, so I prefer that. I'll scoot the dt over here and uh, write the reciprocal of this guy here. That's t squared plus 1 over uh, 3t. All right, and I now need to get rid of this. Okay, so the integral we have, what is going to happen now? I could go boom and then cancel that. This guy could go, and this is just right. Okay, so our integral is now. Um, negative 2, and then simply 1 over t squared plus 1, which is better s visible as 1 over um, 1 plus t squared instead of t squared plus 1 dt, because this is arc 10, right? So we go, this is minus 2 
tan inverse of t plus c and boy aren't we glad that we solved for t earlier right so our final 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 answer is going to be is going to be a, that our integral is uh, minus 2 tan inverse of uh, square root of uh, 1 minus x divided by x plus 2 and plus c and done.